Hello Primarchs. I am making my uh, first um, bat wrap for Pro Meta. This is two lists that I believe are in uh, the higher end meta stream. So I'm going to show you what I'm bringing. This is my tournament list. I have made minor tweaks, but I'm going by the current beta rules too for command points. This is a, a Tau Brigade. So I'm running 15 command points, which is insane. Um, let me tell you about my list here. I am running. I have a few representations in this, but I didn't want to stop the, you know, the love going into the battle report to show you. And I'm going to also do the battle report a little different. I'm not going to do all the rolls, so it'll be a little faster for you to watch, and the camera won't be all over the place until I get a little more uh, use and a better camera that doesn't kind of have the motion problems. I'm going to do that. So without further ado, uh, let's go through my list. So this is Shadow Sun. Yes, it's a Space Marine, but my model is still being put together and I want to get painted. I don't want to have one painted. So Shadow Sun, Dark Strider, Ethereal, my three HQ choices, Micro Brigade. My three fast attack choices are the three squads of drones, 1-7, 1-6, 1-5. My three heavy support choices, I got a big broadside squad back there with ATS and uh, high yield smart missiles and each have a seeker. I have one broadside, one of the old babies. Uh, he's running the exact same weapons, but he has a uh, velocity tracker instead to target all the flyer spam rules. Over here, another broadside, the third choice, all the exact same as that other little guy by himself. So VT and all missiles and seekers, of course. For my elite choices, broadside, or sorry, riptide, smart missiles, burst cannon, velocity tracker, and ATS. He is some, and I like to have more on the list, but I have to have three elite choices to get my brigade points. So back here, we have a stealth team, the old originals, with two, those are not missiles, those are obviously shield drones that are with them. I have all bursts except one fusion. This squad is doing a lot better. When I put it with three, I find a little under strength. This one is doing a little bit better. And I still like the airy denial and quickly grabbing things. Troops, six troops needed. 10 crew, 10 crew, 10 crew. Three fireware squads, all with the rifles to make up the troops. Uh, I also have some more elites over here because I need more. I'll show you two elite choices, three elite choices. The marksman, don't leave home without your marksman. Instant marker lights and hard to kill. So that is my brigade. Uh, any feedback or things you want to question about, by all means. Again, this is going to be a faster battle report. The other ones that way you guys don't have to sit and watch an hour and a half where the rolls will be skipped and all the camera shaking will be hopefully improved. So. More to come. Okay, this is when we have a little bit more representations, but again, I want to make sure I show you the list. Uh, this is a competitive Gilliman list that I've done in tournaments and it's done pretty effective. So this is obviously not Gilliman, but this is a Primark and I'm going to use him as Gilliman, which would be that. I have another HQ over here, which is the company Cha Ancient with the banner so they can reroll the shots. Uh, these will be the same base size, so these Imperial Fists are going to be Hellblaster squads, two five-man Hellblaster squads. Those guns are so nasty. I have, for other HQs, these are uh, all Tech Marines, just Tech Marines. Nothing fancy, Tech Marines, just because they're very cheap HQs to fill up that. Uh, I have a battalion, and I have uh, a secondary attachment of heavy supports, so that's what my, I'm running. So it's only, now you get five, so it's five, eight, nine command points, which isn't bad. Troops, I'm running two squads with cloaks and one squad without. Nothing fancy, just to get the brigade. Or not, my battalion, sorry. I'm still doing the towel. Over here, we have one squad of Devastators, all with missiles and a Sherub. Over here, we have Devastators with four last cannons and a Sherub. And these are plasmas, but they are uh, last cannons. So. We have three more last cannons. So re-rolling all these hits, re-rolling his wounds is going to be really effective for my friend here. And he's probably going to take down my stuff fast. Hopefully just shield drones. And of course, Razorbacks. Or Assbacks, as people like to call them. All with assault cannons and seeker missiles in my face. So let's see how this goes. And, oh wait, you can afford the seeker missile? I'll double check that, but I'll let you know at the start. Okay, this will be a different kind of battle report because obviously gun lines like these, I want to see pretty much the first two turns are all that matters between these two lists. The rest is just like pretty much just the final you now scrubbing. So I'm going to be playing both armies, but 
Um, I'm going to do both armies getting first turn. So I'm first going to start with a Tau first turn, and I'm going to have the Gilman list get the first turn to see the difference in how much damage it can really do. Now this is an ITC battle, one of the hardest ones for gun lines. Three objectives, one in each enemy deployment zone, and one in the center. Now I moved to the Tau to do their first turn move. Stealth Suso jumped up here. Crew have advanced with their 7-inch move plus their additional move. Same with over here. You can see deployment, scouts. Hellblaster is all back here, and all the Devastators are placed in the front three transports. There's no sense risking them, at least make them have to pop the vehicle before they die. So like I said, this is to show these two armies against each other without having just a standard battle report. I mean, I could have a friend play, but I pretty much guarantee how I know how this is going to go anyways. So it's not worth it. But I want you guys to see, so you can see how Tau would fare against the Gilman list. Now, without further ado... Let's start rolling some dice. So I said Tau got gotten first turn. I will activate uh, Kaon at the start of my turn. So everything with six inches of shadow sun can get rerolls, which is pretty much my little power hub here. Shield drones are all tucked in, so they can't be targeted because of the ITC rules. They can't be fired through first level, but they can still provide support for my guys. Now, uh, I'm also going to command a control node on my broadsides so they can reroll their wounds. Do I get that command point back? Do I get that command point back? Yes, I do. So that was free. Cost me nothing. Um, I'm going to do the broadside so I don't, or the rip touch so I don't forget. He'll do the three plus, or three plus unvulnerable and overcharges burst cannon. Do I get that point back? No. So I'm down one. This is using the new beta rules. So I had 15 command points because I'm a brigade. I'm down to 14 now. Um, okay. So, shooting. Always fire those marker lights at the start. I'm going to start by firing this far set marksman over at the this rhino or razor back there. I need a three. Missed. Uh, fire blade below. We'll fire the same one. He will hit. I'm going to spend a command point to do the D3 bonus more. Scoring an extra two. So that's got three marker lights on it. And I use another command point. Do I get that back? No, that's all right. Going to this far sight marksman. I'm going to shoot the razor back beside it. I need three. Got it. And I'm going to fire this far set marks at the same transport because I wanted the extra ones for seekers. And a hit. So two marker lights on that. That's all I need. Shooting. I'm going to start by cracking those transports open. I will fire these, my babies. I will fire. I'm in range for 30 for front transports. So. I will fire all three Seekers at the, this transport razor back here. And then one high guy will fire his high yields there. And everything else will go at that transport beside it. Those Seeker missiles. Hitting on fours. All hits. Strength eight on some of the threes. And I can reroll my wounds. So the command control node. Scoring all but... All, so all but one. Uh, these are sh minus three because I have a the ATS system, so he would need a f six plus to make the save. I'll roll for him. Obviously, it's me, and I saved one. That's unfortunate. One gets through, doing three damage. That's fine. And then I said one guy with a high yield missiles are firing at that. Eight fours. Eight fours. Not bad. All but one. He's only four to wounds, they're to seven. That could have been better. Could have been a lot better. So far, none. Command and control mode. Bringing it up to five. These are minus two. So he needs a five plus save. Stopping two of them. Three would get through. Doing three, four, five, six damage. So that's six and three. That's nine. He has one point left. So the fire. Something else added after. Um, we'll complete the fire power roll. So I got four, eight, four, and eight high yield missiles going at the razor back beside it. It's hard making a video by yourself because you have to roll and hold the camera. I'm going to try to keep it steady, but I'm going to do it. Hey, on fours. I can reroll. Everything because of K on which thank God. Didn't really need the two market lights, but other things might be able to shoot at too. All those so far. And missing a few. 
fours. Rear on the wounds. That was one in October, anyways. Well, that was better. So that many five plus A's from the Space Marine Razorback. Stopping one, two, three. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four. Okay, that cripples that. Does it explode? It does, but it won't do enough to everything around it will take one more to wound, which is not bad. I do have guys close enough that you see the hell blasters are close enough. I lose a hell blaster. But the men inside, nothing dies. So I'll mark those wounds in a sec. And this razor back is toast. Bringing out some fresh meat. Devastators. Some more to come. Okay, so I didn't kill the hell blaster because I have two wounds. We, we know that. Uh, these guys are out now, so I'm going to fire. I want to finish this last transport, so I'm going to fire one little one of my broadsides back there. He will declare his seeker missile at a new target. We'll fire this one. His high yields to be safe. We'll fire it there. And smart missile is going to fire at the troops. So much firepower. So, seeker missile on this target. Hitting on fours. Rerolling. No, that's all right. Damn you, seeker. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Fours. Re rolling. Not bad, all but one. And three coming through. Three. This is no ATS, so he's got a. It's only negative one, so four plus A. Stopping all three. That's wonderful. That guy's not going to die. Um, broadside, firing the smart missiles at the Devastator troops. Of course. It's cocked. Take this one in for maintenance. Four wounds, four. No armor, or three plus. Losing one, he'll lose a sergeant. Sergeant doesn't get to shoot because the banner. He would. And he'll fire one shot at the crew. Reroll hits because of Gilman. Missed, so it doesn't matter. I will move down the train. I'll fire the last broadside. He's out of range of smart missiles. But he can still fire his high yield missiles to just kill that one transport. Hopefully. Apparently it's invincible. He on fours. There we go. Wounding on fours. Two. Doesn't make a save. One gets through, so I only got to do three plus. And I got it. So that takes the other transport out. Bringing up more broad size. Do the men inside get hurt? Or on water wound? Doesn't explode? Nope. And no one dies inside. Putting out more fresh meat of Devastators. Let's take a little bit more firepower than I hoped to do it. Three last cans. Sergeant and a troop. Because these guys have fire, my stealth team's gonna unload. Fusion cannon at that. Razorback. And he, oh, and he misses. Of course he does. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, sixteen shots of burst cannons are firing at the Devastator Squad, the fresh one that just got out. Yeah, fours. Wow. That was really impressive. Three's the wound. Mm, a lot of space marine saves. No armor penetration, but three plus. Losing one, two, three. He'll lose a marine, a sergeant, and a dev. So the two marines, they fire. They do. And they're in rapid fire range, so four shots at the crew. Three rolling hits because of good one. And three's the wound. Three rolling wounds because of good one. And four crew have to make saves on my turn. And four die. Look at those ones. Two well. Four crew. Oh, wait, I did get one. One will come back. Okay. Uh, the missile will fire at a broadside. We'll reroll because of one. Hits. Wounds. I'm going to try to intercept the shield. I got a one. I'm going to find a command point. Safe. Do I get my hand point by act? No. Does the shield live? He lives. Nice. 
Um, God, I love shield drones. That was those guys. My overcharged gun will target this squad, the blue, and the smart missiles at them from the Riptide. Team fours. Three rolls. Nice. At threes. This is at the weaker squad. Quite a few. He does have ATS, so it's minus one, so four plus. The squad is dead. Do they get to shoot? On a three plus, goes a banner. No, wow, I got lucky there. And then I'm just gonna roll this many at the fresh squad. If I have to roll more dice, I will. I don't think it's gonna need it. He and four is the burst cannon. Rerolling everything to the K-On. Freeze the wound. Not too bad. And minus two to armor save because ATS, five plus. So losing one, two, three. And I'll just roll the rest quick to see what makes a difference. Three's a wound. Two, two saves. Oh, so they're dead. They're all gonna chance to fire back on three plus. Two of them are firing. I'm gonna fire broadside because that's fun. Rerolling hits. One hit. Wound. Press that'll shoot intercept or shield drone. And it intercepts and lives. God, shield drones for the win. Those are the squads. As you can see, Tau Firepower is brutal. Um, I still have my small arms fire. So I'm just going to target small stuff, obviously. There's nothing really big to fire at. I'll fire the crew at the scouts. Not that I'm going to do much, but let's roll it quick. The weekend crew squad. I wouldn't have that many. Three. Seven. Weekend crew squad gets a good chunk of hits. Two wounds. Two plus. Oh, one scout. Bam. And over there, fire all those two crew squads. Rapid fire at those scouts. First of all, Fours. Knock that one over. Two plus. Good job. Nothing. Uh, and they're left next fully. Fours. Two wounds. No way. I didn't expect to get much of that, but they're going to charge in a second. Um. Just to get quickly, I'm just gonna fire all my little crap guys together. Fire warriors. And they can reroll because they can. And they're firing these stealth uh, cloak boys. Threes because they're stronger weapon. Space Marines, two plus day for the win. And losing one more. Hey, leadership won't really matter. I only lost two guys. The Space Marines snipers don't care. So it's a pretty crippling first turn. They can come back. We're going to see what they would do in their turn. Okay, the response for the Space Marines, if they went turn two, are not going first turn. They have moved up. They dropped the devs. Uh, I'm going to do some quick firing. Uh, these are going to... Uh, the crew did manage to kill and wipe out that uh, scout squad. It wasn't really a big deal. Uh, I'm going to fire the Devastators first at the broadsides. They need fours. I use the Sherub. So I get five last cannon shots in threes or fours because they moved. All would be hits. That's very unfortunate for me. Threes to wound and they're near Nilamus. They can roll again if they need to and they do. Scoring five freaking last cannon wounds. Uh, first shield drill will try to intercept. Doesn't. Uh, command point because I'm coming for this turn. Doesn't. Wow. Do I get my command point back? No. Um, no three freaking ones. Uh, that's uh, broadside is minus three, so it gets a five plus save. Saves on a six. Well, I got lucky there. Shield drone intercepts, dies. Next one, shield drone doesn't stop. 
five plus save. Gets through, how much damage? Two, uh, I'm they're gonna command point that. Doing six, so that wipes out one of my bra size. That's unfortunate. Uh, there's still more coming. Next one, shield drone intercepts, shield drone lives. Next one, shield drone intercepts, shield drone dies. So one stopped, one killed broadside, two shield drones died. Pretty successful with that was one devastator squad. Nasty. I was hoping to make the better saves, but losing a broadside expense, that was like 147 points. Uh, there's seeker missiles declaring fire fire, obviously, too. They got two seeker missiles that are fire the broadsides. Hitting on fours because they moved. Re rolling. Hitting once. Wounding once. I'll try to intercept the shield. I do. And a shield will die. Next. Uh, Razorbacks will wipe out. We'll say the crew. I'm not going to bother rolling. They're going to get enough shots to kill that crew squad. We'll pull that off. Uh, this Razorback will target um, and shoot at. Broadsides, why not? Because you can kill some broadsides, not their weakened. Nine, four, eight, twelve. That moves, so hit on fours. Oh, miss, miss. Three misses. Strike six, so they need threes. Can re roll wounds. Okay, I'm gonna try to take it with three plus save, hoping I can be fine. Let's find out. Failing three, so take three damage to one. Going to the chain. These guys are all gonna unload their plasmas, overcharging and hitting the riptide. The riptide does have a three plus invulnerable, but still it's gonna be scary. They're not in rapid fire range, but two, six, Actually, one sec. Okay, so not in rapid fire range, like I said, but there's five guys shooting the first squad. They're out of my range to use my uh, minus one to be hit. I have no force now, so. Yeah, threes. Re rolling. And getting all in. That was a one, so one will take. So that means one will die because that was a weakened squad. Explosion. Trying to three is a wound. We're charged. And all wounds. I'm gonna try to get lucky and roll three plus save. Each one does two damage though. And I passed them all, so I got lucky on that. Next squad, same thing. Just re-roll those ones. Because the other one, so one takes one damage. Actually, that's model slain. Sorry. That goes. And Three to wound. Trying to tank. Failing two, so I take four damage from my reptile. Ouch. But still alive. And that is the end of that. And as you can see, they're not going to survive another volley. They're just not. So if I got first turn on the Gilman list, I'm just going to cripple it. Now this is a... The Hell Blasters are usually really good at killing most things, but unfortunately a three plus save and they... Not positioned enough. I hid my broadsides away from. That's what you would do. And yeah, so that was the first turn if they got first. So let's reverse the camera and go back. What would have happened if Gilman got first turn? Okay, as you can see, Gilman moved up. This is going to be rather nasty. Gilman can actually force and push these guys into oblivion if they can do it. So let's see exactly what would have happened. So we'll start by firing all three of the seeker missiles from all the things. We'll fire at the broadsides. These three sides will fire assault rifles of the broadsides, and that one will fire at fire wars just because. So, three seeker missiles hitting on fours as they moved. Re rolling because of Gilman. All hits. Strike eight, winning on threes. Re rolling, luckily, because of Gilman. Scoring all wounds. That was unfortunate. So, we start by making our saves. Our shield drones will try to intercept. First one doesn't. I'll command point. Does. Do I get a command point back? No. Uh, does he die? Yes. So one shield drone down. The next one is intercepted and dies. And the next one intercepts and lives. So two shield drones down to that firepower. 
we'll pull those aside. Got 12 shots from the assault cannon. I mean, four, so they moved. That was a hit, and that's over. Strike six, so we need threes. Rerun wounds, because of Gilman. So powerful. Okay, uh, they are minus one to my P, three plus, but I don't want to lose shield drone, so I'm going to try to tank it on three. Failing one, two, three. So one guy goes down to three wounds. Next, that was one Razorback. Next Razorback, we'll do the same, which is this one here, 24 inches. Let's make sure we're in range. And we are in the front. So I already fired a Seeker. Well, that one didn't have a Seeker, but it didn't really matter. Four, eight, twelve. Kitty on fours because he moved. Re rolling to stupid Gilman. Threes. And rolling. Oh, wow. Well, I'm going to lose one either way, but I'm going to try at least uh, tank it. And I failed four, five. Wow. So one goes down to four, and one is obliterated. One of my precious is down. Just the Razorbacks. Missiles. These Devastators will fire at them. Using the Sheriff, that's five shots. You know, fours, because, again, they moved. Oh, luckily, you can reroll everything. Still only got three through. Three's the wound. All wounds. Tanking time. So first one stops. Die. Second one. Not getting through. I can't command point that. So broadside gets minus two. So four plus save. Safe. Oh. Third one intercepted. Dies. So two shield drones are dying, but I didn't lose any broadsides. Moving along. Uh, next step is to squall the Riptides. These are all Laz cannons. And using the Sherub. So five shots. Fours. Rolling threes. So I'll come here. I haven't been able to activate my three plus vulnerable. So start with shield drones. First one intercepts, lives. Same one and intercepts, dies. So one down. Next one misses, gets through. Five plus save, saves. And one more left and intercepted and dies. So two shield drones there. Down. Ouch. Next Devastator Squad is over here. Riptide again, five shots. We're rolling. I need four, so I had to reroll those, sorry. So all but one, threes. Wow. Uh, these are minus two, three minus three, sorry. Shield drone number one. Stops, soaks, next to him. Stops, dies. Next one stops, lives. Last one stops, lives. So only one shield drone died to three or four last cannon shot. Well, five last cannon, only one got three. That's not bad. Uh, Gilman's crazy ass gun, fire at fire warriors. Two hits, uh, one wound or two wounds. One, two fire warriors die. And plasmas will all try to bring down. I'm going to fire them all at once. They're not in rapid fire range, but they're all going to target the riptide while I can. Before it gets that overcharge. Hitting on threes. All overcharged. All hits. Wounded on threes. Rerolling wounds because of fucking Gilman. Sorry for my language. Oh. Uh, I, it's not worth taking the shield drones. My 2 plus save goes down too much. And I get a 4, which is a 6. 5 plus really sucks. So I got to lose some shields. So we'll start the first one. Intercepts. Dies. Next one. Doesn't intercept. Broadside, 5 plus. A riptide, 5 plus. Sorry. Safe. Next one. Intercepts, dies, next one, 
intercepts, dies, plus two intercepts, dies, lives, and dies. So one, two, three, and the reptile takes four damage. Jeez. I still think I'm doing well. Um, last, I got two guys left I can shoot that are oh, the Razorbacks. Razorbacks are going to try to finish off some broadsides. 3, 10, 12. Again, 4s. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, try to tank it. Taking one. Well, I got lucky there. So he's down to three. And the other, broad, the other one will just, of course, fire at. You can't really see much. He'll just fire at. So the last one's going to target the Riptide. So I can't see anything else. Fours. And. Fives. I will three plus it, taking two more wounds. So he's down a total of six wounds this turn. So, recap. As you can see, the Tau Firepower did extremely way more damage. Not saying the Gilman List didn't do a good amount. It did do three damage to one broadside, wiped out one broadside, and did uh, six damage to the Riptide. But we've already seen how much Firepower damage I did to these uh, Marines. So, turn two, they're pretty much going to be decimated. It's guaranteed. They just don't have the firepower to take. If I got that again, I don't have my shield drones. They killed a ton of shield drones. So I won't survive a second turn. I'd have to cripple them. But now all those devastators are out of the boxes, which means smart missiles will be targeting all them. And the you know, Razorbacks are still a threat, but not as much of a threat. So I could drop those with the high yield missiles. Gilman will get in, but I'm not scared of charges because of so much Overwatch fire. He will only last so long. Uh... Yeah, so again, this is a different kind of battle report. This is a what-if scenario. I knew I could beat a Gilman list. So anyone that was worried about Tau, how to beat Gilman, even if you got second turn, it won't make a difference. Uh, if they were running a little bit different, and they are running some flyers with it, I would have been a lot stronger because my velocity tracker would have hit them on easier on threes. They have no flyers in this list, so I didn't change my list to tailor on it. I just played, this is my tournament list. What do I play? Because there are more flyers in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little uh, what-if scenario. And more to come.